Hey everyone, this is Angel with Tech Toot Legend. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Ion Cube PHP encoder on Hestia control panel. My Hestia control panel is hosted on Oracle Cloud, but this instruction should work on any Hestia regardless of where it's hosted. The first thing you want to do is go to ioncube.com and download Ion Cube Loader. And you can do that by clicking on products and go ahead, click on loaders. And that will bring you here with the list of all the loaders that they have available for each operating system. And from here, you can pick your operating system. In my case, I'm running on Linux ARM64, so I'm going to download this package here. I'm going to go ahead, right click on the zip file and copy the link. Then I'm going to go ahead and open my terminal window and I'm already SSH into my Hestia server. You should do that if you haven't done it yet. And once you're in your Hestia server, you can go ahead and download the zip file. So all you have to do is type wget and paste the link that we just copied. Once you have this file downloaded, you can go ahead and unzip it. And once you have the file unzipped, you'll see that a directory called ioncube was created and all the extensions were put inside of that directory. The versions that you see behind each extension correspond to the version of PHP that these extensions are made for. So in my case, I'm not gonna be installing this on PHP 8.1, uh, but to check what PHP version you're running, all you have to do is run php-v. And as you can see, I'm confirming here that I'm running on PHP 8.1. Once you have the IonCube extension downloaded and you have confirmed your PHP version, the next thing that you want to do is you're going to want to look up your extensions default directory. And to do that, you can run php-i and you can grab for extensions underscore dir. I'm sorry, I meant to type extension underscore dear. There you go. And as you can see, my default extension directory is USR lib PHP 2021092. And this is where I want to copy my extension file in. So to do that, I'm going to run the following command CP. And from here, I'm going to copy the path to my extension. And I will put that file into my default extension directory. I'm gonna go ahead and click enter. And once I have that file copied over there, I'm gonna go ahead and open my Hestia control panel. And in my Hestia control panel, I'm gonna go ahead and edit my PHP INI file. So to do that, I'm gonna click here on the server settings. And I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna click on PHP 8.1. And then here I'm gonna add a line. And in that line, I'm gonna type Zend extension equals and then I'll give it path to my extension file. So that will be USR lib PHP 2021-0902. And of course you're gonna give it path to your default extensions directory. And then you're gonna give it the name of the extension file. Again, in my case, that would be ironcube loader for PHP H1. And the name of your file will depend on the version of PHP that you're running on. And go ahead and paste it here. And as you can see, we have Zend extension equal and then full name to the extension file. I'm going to go ahead and click save and that will restart the web server. And once that's all done, you can go ahead, open your terminal window and to check if the ion cube got installed, all you have to do is run PHP V again. And as you can see, we have PHP 8.1 with IonCube PHP Loader 12.05 installed. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked it, please click on the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, go ahead, subscribe for my channel.